What's up guys, in this video I'm going to show how you can create your own custom functions for long and complicated formulas and use them in any workbook through the combination of Lambda and VBA without the need for copying and pasting it. Now it should be noted that for this video you will need access to Microsoft 365 and VBA macros. So with that said, let's get this tutorial started. In this Excel workbook here, we have two worksheets, example 1 and example 2. In the example 1 worksheet, we have column A with a list of fruit names, and you'll notice that, that there are some fruits that repeat itself like apple in A2 and A8 and A9. So let's say we want you to create a formula that can find the number of unique fruits in that range. Well, what we can do is that we can do equals to count A, unique, and then select the range, enter, and enter. And we get back the value of 6, so there are 6 unique fruits here. But what if instead of using two or more functions together, we want you to do this in a single function? Well, what we can do is that we can use a lambda function to accomplish this. So let's copy this formula down, control C. And in this cell here, I'm going to type out equals to lambda. And we have the parameter or calculation argument here. Parameter means that um, what is the argument that we want to like input into our function and calculation is the formula we just copied. So our argument should be range, comma, and the calculation will be this. And we're just going to like remove the A2 to A12 to like have it be the range instead. So range argument here. And then press enter and enter again. And we get a calc error here. Well, that's because when we use the lambda function, we need to reference it in the name manager directly. And you can find the name manager in the formulas tab here. And click this button to get the name manager popped up. So let's copy this lambda function here. And I'll click on the name manager button. And we get this menu popped up here. We can click on new. And we get the name here where we're going to like give the name to our custom function, the scope, and which will be limited to the workbook, the comment for any additional information we want to include, and we first to will be the formula or the function we will copy down. So let's give this a name, underscore, since that's an easy way to like find a list of all the custom functions I have, unique, count. And in this section here, we're going to just say that this custom function will count the number of unique values in a range and in this section we're going to paste the formula and then click ok and then close and let's delete this here so this time let's do equals to underscore and we have our very own custom function appearing in this worksheet now or workbook in general so press tab and then select the range enter and we get the same value as 6 before now one of the biggest issues with the lambda function is that it is limited to the workbook only and you can't really use it in other workbooks without copying the function directly so let me show you an example i'm gonna open up a new workbook here and let's do the same thing equals to underscore and you'll notice that nothing appears well that's because it's not whenever you open a new workbook it's not referenced in the name manager directly the one thing you can do is that you can go back to the other workbook you have copy this into that new workbook and then do equal to underscore now you have access to this custom function but that's a pretty big hassle right that you have to like go back to the other workbook every time and then copy it down to the new workbook. It can get annoying trying to copy and paste the same custom function every time into the different workbooks. From what I've researched, Microsoft didn't create an easier way to do this, but there is a workaround with VBA. Within the VBA editor for the personal workbook, we can type out the custom functions, have VBA reference it in the name manager, 
and then click a button to import all the custom functions into the current active workbook. Let me show you guys how to do that by going back to the original workbook with all the examples. So first, let's open up the VB editor by pressing Alt F11. And the next thing you want to make sure is that you want to like have the personal.xlsb workbook visible. And this workbook allows us to use our any macros in any workbook that we've opened. And if you if you're not sure like how to make it visible, then you can let me know and I'll make a video on it on it in the future. But let's go to module one here and let's name this module one as custom functions lambda. And in this module here, we can like paste our code. So but first let's do option explicit. And let's name the subroutine as custom functions with lambda. And in the subroutine, I'm going to copy and paste the code um, here that allows us to use the unique count function. So for this first line, we have the comment. This lambda function is used to count all the unique values within a major cell. The next line references the active workbook name and adds the adds it to like the name manager underscore unique underscore count referencing the r1c1 formula and with the formula formula here lambda range count a unique range and in this line we have active workbook dot name with the comment for unique count where it says this custom function is used to count unique values found in a range of cells so if we save this here and close it up and we go to file more options go to customize ribbon and we're going to add our macro to the home tab here so let's add a new group and we can name this as custom functions and give it the piggy bank symbol and we're going to choose the macro commands and add this macro into this group here and do the same thing here rename import custom functions and give it the piggy bank symbol okay and press okay and now we have this new button here for custom functions so let's open up a new workbook now the last time i showed you when opening up the new workbook we had to copy and paste the custom function directly and if you do equal to underscore, nothing appears. But this time, if you just click on this button here, which will appear in any, any workbook now, you can do equals to underscore, and we have it here automatically. So let's test it out. Apple, apple, orange, and banana. And we should get the value for three, for three unique items, right? So equals to underscore unique count and the range and enter and you get the value of three which is working as intended. Now the great thing with this method is that it's not limited to only one custom function but we can include as many functions as we want as long as it's referenced in the VB editor. So let's show the example in the second worksheet. I'll close this workbook out and go to example two. And in this example, we have column A with a list of programming languages. And you'll notice that like some of these programming languages repeat, repeat itself like Python, Python, and C++ and C++, and so on, so on, right? And what we want to do is that we want to get a list of like a, in each cell, we want to have unique programming languages only. So this would return only Python, R, C++, C, and Java. And this would only return R. This would return the same thing as usual since there's no duplicate values and same for this so let's see what the formula for that would look like we can do equals to text split on the text comma and delimit it by comma space and press enter and we get the array here that's separated by comma and then we want to find the unique value for each of these for unique and now we have the unique value right next thing we want, want to do is that we want to concatenate all these values delimited by a comma space again 
So you can do text join. And the delimiter will be a comma space, comma, and ignore MT is true, comma, and press enter and enter. And we got the formula that we want right here. And we can drag it down. And it looks like everything's good here, right? But again, this is a pretty long or decently long formula that we can turn into its own custom function. So we can do the same thing as before with unique count. We can do equal to lambda. The parameter this time will be the cell. And then comma. Oh, I forgot to copy down the formula. So let me just do that. So I'll copy this formula here and equals lambda the parameter will be l comma and then we have the calculation which i'll just paste and we're just going to replace this a2 with the argument or the parameter cell and press enter enter we get the calc error as usual and then we can just copy this now this time we don't really need to go back to the formula tab and the manager and edit the whole thing as usual we can just copy this directly into like the vb editor instead so let's go to alt f11 and i'll just paste this here as a reference with the comment and then i'm just going to copy and paste this whole thing from unique account unique count and paste it here and we're going to change this to like this lambda function is used to find unique oops yeah so this lambda function is used to find unique cells or unique values in each cell and we're going to change this name to something like remove duplicates or remove dupes cell and we're going to like copy and paste the formula we have here into the string here without removing the equal sign oh yeah so like whenever you have something that like an error message like this appearing in tax error that's because like you included the string here but we're just going to add another quotation mark here and here too so that it's escaping the original string and that should fix it up and in this line here we're gonna change the name to remove dupe cell and change this into the comment so like we're just gonna like say this custom function will remove any duplicate values in each cell and we can just delete this and save it here close this out and let's test it out here right if I try to do equal to underscore, we have the original unique count function here. But when I click on the piggy bank again, import custom functions, we do equal to underscore, and we have removed dupe cell here now. Put tab, and we can just select the cell, enter, and we get the same exact value as before now. And we can fill this down. And that did the job here. So let's open up another workbook and equals to underscore. Nothing appears. But click on the button equals underscore. And we have a list of all the custom functions that saved in the VB editor here. I hope this video was super helpful if you have issues with long and complicated formulas in any workbook. If you want to see what else you can do with VBA, then you should check this video out. I made on why you should learn VBA for your job. Please support this video by liking, commenting, and if you haven't done so already, subscribing. Until then, I'll see you guys next time.